But today I just wanted to share that verse that God's really been putting on my heart lately is Psalm of David and he's saying, Your love and kindness, God, is always before my eyes and I shall walk in your faithfulness. Um, yeah, I think I think that's a, such an encouraging verse. I think it's a great reminder of um, the importance of, yeah, just really meditating and, yeah, just fixing our gaze on God's mercy, his loving kindness, and how, um, yeah, that actually leads to us wanting to follow him more closely. Um, yeah, it's the mercy of God that actually motivates our obedience. And I think even Spurgeon might have said something like, yeah, if, if ever our faith is, is failing, or if we're feeling weak in our faith, that, um, yeah, the best way to revive our faith is to, yeah, just to look again upon the mercy of God, upon his, his loving kindness, his goodness. And yeah, I think that's so true. I think it's the goodness of God, that the kindness of God that really motivates um, change in our lives. And I think this verse, it just really says it, your loving kindness, God, is ever before my eyes. And um, I think it's such a challenge. I think it's very much easy to lose sight of the loving kindness of God and to, yeah, I guess, get lost in what I'm doing, get lost in my work, get lost in busyness and um, yeah thinking I've just got to perform and I think it's just a great reminder you know, I, I need God's mercy in front of my eyes I need to meditate on that um, yeah it says it's the gospel that saved me it's what Christ has done for me and that doesn't change after salvation is it's, it's always God's mercy that that is is always the motivator um, for for everything and um, yes yeah, it's, it's a reason for everything I, I live by the grace of God yeah just hope this has encouraged you and yeah shift your gaze upon the mercy of God and and really experience his mercy and in, in a fresh way this week and so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this and God bless